Well, the fired worker who helped design Florida's coronavirus surveillance dashboard is now speaking to News 6 about her new COVID-19 tracking website. Rebecca Jones first made headlines last month. She said she was removed for refusing to censor the state's data. Governor DeSantis called her claims false. News 6's Nikki Zazaza spoke to her about the dashboard she created now and what the state has to say about it. As long as people feel like they need this, I'm going to keep doing it. Not long after former Florida Department of Health scientist Rebecca Jones was ousted, she says she launched her own coronavirus dashboard to renew the public's trust in data. I rebuilt this new one and really the frame of it in a day. Um, much like I did the last time. Her website, which looks strikingly similar to the state's, is not a coincidence. The difference is, is that mine is much more transparent and it's a lot more detailed. The DOH website she says she curated was touted by the White House's coronavirus response coordinator, Deborah Burks, as a model of transparency. But Jones claims the career boosting recognition wasn't enough. I always wanted to add things like nursing home cases and hospitalization, available ICU beds, pediatric cases, prison cases, um, all of that information to my first dashboard and was not able to. I was told no. One stark contrast, Jones dashboard shows a county report card of which counties are ready for the next phase of reopening. Data she claims played a role in her termination by the state last month. In a statement to News 6 about her termination, the state said in part, Rebecca Jones exhibited a repeated course of insubordination during her time with the department, including her unilateral decisions to modify the department's COVID-19 dashboard without input or approval. So she didn't listen to the people who were her superiors. She Governor Ron DeSantis also called Jones' credibility into question. She's also under active criminal uh, charges in the state of Florida. I've never been a person who's a public person. Um, I never intended to be a whistleblower. When asked about Jones dashboard, the Florida Department of Health said the Rebecca Jones dashboard sources much of its data directly from the department's dashboard. The remainder is either self-reported or derived from unofficial sources. That was Nikki Zazaza reporting. Now, Jones says since her termination, she sought legal counsel to help navigate this situation. Now, she says her dashboard attracts millions of views and operates through GoFundMe donations. News 6 called and emailed Jones's attorney for comment, and we're waiting to hear back.